<laughs> Good morning. I'm Lady Anne, and I'm here with Julie, and we are coming to you live with the Cheers, Cheers to, to You, you show. show. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry. That hat is having a very <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> so I have to thank my mother for this. It's darling. Thanks. Hers doesn't have batteries. <laughs> Mine does. <laughs> she said hers had Viagra. <laughs> well, I had to turn the other one off because it was really happy to I, see I it. I think I'm going to be attacked by her hat this morning. Good morning <laughs> to you. We hope you're doing really well. This is, um, in case you haven't figured it out, it's the holiday episode. And we want to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, and, and a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yep, whatever and you celebrate. And a lot of families celebrate, celebrate everything. A, a lot of things. We have a menorah, yeah. just FYI, yeah. so we like to do the gamut. My um, family does too, yeah. I can't believe it's Christmas. I can't I believe I'm looking at you in a wagging hat. I know, I'll t- I, can t- little... I can turn it off. Well? <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can. It, it's fun. <laughs> she's going to try to turn it off. In the meantime, while the, she fidgets with her hat, I have to get something to show you. We have so much to talk about today. Because it's such a busy time. We need a, an official drum roll. I'm going to put this on. You talk to them. For First of all, minute. it's very warm today. It, it's supposed to be 70 degrees. It's supposed to be 70 degrees, but I have to say that's one of the reasons why we moved here from Connecticut. Because they're all up there in cloudy, gray, gloomy skies, and it's probably all of 34. And here I am down here. Okay, this are you ready? Me, I'm not going to buckle the whole thing because it would take me another, I don't know, like 25 minutes. Ta-da! Woo! It's done. I am wearing a sweater, and it's like, you know, it's let, me, magnificent. let me move this guy down a little. Ooh. It is magnificent. It's awesome. And now that I've had it on for three seconds, I'm going to tell yeah. you that my gift to you is that I will not mention it to you again. Oh, good. Merry Although, Christmas. I do want to see Zach in it. I don't know if he can wear it. He's out, outgrown it already. Yes, I. Oh my I'm gosh. so sad. He um, when he put it on before I put the ribbon on, he stretched the neck out. Oh my gosh. But my son is a swimmer. <laughs> with, and growing daily. He's 16, and so between the time I started the sweater and now, he's, he's the, outgrown. At that it. age, they go to bed and they wake yeah. up a whole size larger. He's, he's a big guy. Well, and his shoulders. His are shoulders are huge. huge. He's got those swimmer shoulders so going. So much for the drop shoulder sweater. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's it's magnificent. It's I just had to share because it's I'm, beautiful. I'm just well, we have you. birthed that baby with you, so uh, thank you. We are we are very happy for you and happy for us. Yeah. <laughs> we can move on. Yeah, absolutely. To some fun new projects. Okay, so gifts. I want to show you what um what sort of kept me. Other than the sweater, what kept me like... Oh, she's been crocheting. Crazy this weekend. Okay, the very first thing... She's got a bag of goodies over here. I do have a bag of goodies. And the first gift is for you. And here is your... Oh, do y'all see that? Look at those. And it's in a jar. I love the jar. So those are traditional spritz cookies that I make every year. How pretty. Complete with a bow. It had to have a bow. It even has a bow. It has a bow. And they have sour cream in them. Oh, I love those. And they are so good. And then The presentation, by the way, is spot on. Thanks. (laughs) I learned from the best. I have to give a shout out. This is also for you. This is homemade um, bourbon vanilla. This was made by Tanya Weaver, who started the American Foundation for Children with AIDS. And I've known her for quite a few years. I um, led a, a rock climbing team that raised money for her organization. So she showed that she was selling, I don't know if you can see oh, it. the label's ah, darling. There we go. Um, really cute little label. And she made this, and this is for you. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you, thank you, thank you. I make vodka vanilla. She, uh, I bought I've never bourbon had. and rum. I've never had bourbon. Yeah, I bought bourbon and rum. So. Oh, that's lovely. So that's you, that little you. gifty gifty. Um, open your card while I show them this, because okay. I want I want you to see something really fun. Oh, these okay. do look fun. Then um, this weekend I was on a uh, washcloth crocheting mission. So I wanted to show you, and you can do these in like a couple hours, y'all. They're darling. So if it's last minute and you're stressing out, don't stress out. Those are really cute. So you can make a little set of them. 
That's a nice gift. It's it's a great gift and it's really fun to do. Oh, did you do that? I did, and I want to tell you how I did that. That is I thought you would be way proud. cool. I thought you would be happy with that. Oh, look at this. Do you know what that is? I don't. Like, when I do machine embroidery, I save, and I'll show you guys a picture, but I save the all thread. All the threads. And so then I use Sulky. Have you ever used Sulky? I have not, but I save sulky threads too. Is, well, save them, because what you do is you map them all together, and you sew on the Sulky. You put Sulky on either side, which is a, it's a, like it's a, a dry a, adhesive. Okay. And you sew over the Sulky, and then you put the whole thing in water. The Sulky dissolves, but the the threads stay sewn together. That's awesome. It's just fun. That's very cool. And so this is from a piece of sulky fabric that I made and you just cut out the pieces. But then there's the little them. illustration that goes along with well, it. Well, the tree had to have a, yeah, it has <laughs> it had a, base, to have a base and it has a star. It's, it's just fun. Darling. You would love that stuff. Sulky, S-U-L-K-Y. Well, we'll have to, yeah, Go we'll, have sulky. To, we'll have to play with that. I just thought you would think that was really fun. That is really, Since really cute. Since you're the keeper of the threads. I am. I, I Mine end up like little roses. I kind of twist them the into. The thread or yeah, the yarn? The thread. Oh thread I kind of it comes like a little nest I just kind of twist it up and they end up up my I'll bring one you in. need to use that stuff yeah that would be fun it comes in a um sorry now I have fiber in my nose from the sweater um it comes in a, a roll and so you can, it, so it's like a interfacing kind of thing no it's like a sheet of glue huh kind right. of I, I don't know out. how to explain it like you Michael's know. Joanne's Definitely Joanne's, okay. um, or online, but definitely All right. Joanne's. Well, wait, we're doing gifts. Oh. So you're not gonna really open your gift, but I am. Okay, I won't open mine yet. No, but 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 half of your gift is on the outside. I'm excited. So you were gonna do the you did the cookie thing. Yeah. Your cookie thing. So look oh, what I found you. you got, oh my God! Do you know how much I appreciate that? So I got a cookie shaped um I mean sweater. a sweater shaped cookie, cookie cutter. cutter. Yeah, that so you can so play sweet. with that. Thank you that, so much. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. And um, Yay! I was watching a podcast. Ooh. We can we'll Ooh. do this later. Yeah, I was watching a podcast last night, and they ha they were having a Christmas party, and what did they have? They had a Cooked bakery sweaters. do those little sweaters. I looked so at those, cute. and I was like, I was honestly trying to be frugal. So I didn't buy, just like I didn't buy Miss Babs, I didn't buy the cookie cutters, so I really appreciate that. Amazon, they had a ton of them. Yeah, And they some do. of them came with like kits. Sets and And there all were that. some like that were plastic. I, th I thought, that's not good. You need the metal one. So I got you the metal one. I appreciate that. <laughs> and when I was looking at them, I got really tempted because they had a set of tools, cookie cutters. Oh, and I thought, for, for Sherry. Sherry. I know. And we she said, don't Sherry. do that. Yeah, so, that would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. Well, well I love the washcloths. I think those are really, really sweet. They're so quick and easy, y'all. And really we have um, we have tons of cotton that if you're in a pinch, seriously, these took me... Yeah, they work up quick. I don't know, like a couple of hours each, And maybe. it's a free pattern? It's our pattern. Free pattern? For, it's not yeah. free. Is it free? Yeah. Free pattern from yeah. Cheers to you. Hey, it's $2,000 for the pattern, but the yarn's really cheap. <laughs> So Don't I worry. have a couple of, um, ah. these are handmade ornaments that ah. I have received over the years that I didn't necessarily make. Some of them I did. So this is I it. These are that. Christmas trees. That's adorable. And I have them in a number of colors. This is my friend Molly made me these. Is that a mochi mochi? Yes. <gasps> Aren't these cute? I have these in a bunch Please of colors. Please grab the Santa. Okay, this morning I looked at Mochi Mochi Land, and I'm a, if you haven't seen MochiMochiLand.com, go look at it. Which way am I going? This he way. has um, grass on his booty. The battery's pooping. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might have Santa, pooped. Santa made a dookie. <laughs> Santa pooped his pants. <laughs> you would do if you were flying in the sky with reindeer. <laughs> my God. Is he cute? Um, I love him. My former boss, Margie LaFriend, made, made, made that for oh, me. Oh, I love it. Uh, she also did this one. Look at this. <gasps> oh, is that her pattern? That's the same as her pattern. Uh, as whose pattern? Margie's. It looks yes. like her stockings. Okay, so we did the Cascade stockings. It looks exactly the same. How it's cute the is that? cutest thing. And this is old. I mean, I've had this for probably 15 years. I love that. And look, I'm going to flip the lights. Hold on. She, she was into pom-poms even back then. Oh, I love it. And it's got a little Angora top. 
There we go. Oh, let there be light. My girlfriend Jane made this. She took uh. a um, uh, old sweater, felted it. Oh my gosh! Look what the knitting needle tips are. Or the, they're two the ends. with beads. A bead. So she just took an old sweater, felted it, made a little bag, sewed some straps on it. Oh my gosh! Is that cute? I love that. I know. I have a ton of them. Oh, this, my mom will love this. Show this one. I made these. Oh. Oh, a little you know what? I'm not even back. looking at who's saying hello to us. Good so, morning. I have the pattern for this. This is a, um, it's not really focusing. This is a fabric kimono. This ah. is not knit, but it is handmade. And these are fun. I did, oh gosh, I did about 100 of those one year and gave them to all my friends. This is from my friend Doreen. These are little felted they're little square oh. felts of fabric, and they're just on a wire. Oh. Going the wrong way. Just trying to find our... Isn't um, that cute? Ah, there it's, we go. It's not really focusing. There it goes. Pull it back towards you a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Little that squares looks good. Of, of felted cloth. Oh, we have some good mornings. I'm sorry, I'm a little oh, slow. Good. good morning. Good morning, Kathy. Hey, Abby, Kathy. hey. And then Sally. Good morning, Sally. Good morning, Sal. She oh, said, did she make it home? Merry Christmas to you. The poor girl got stuck in the Bahamas yesterday. Rough. Rough. Actually, wow. that's kind of stinky being stuck in the airport when you could be on the well, beach. Well, being stuck at the airport. If you were stuck on the beach with a pina colada. Yeah, that's not stuck. Yeah. Um, that's because heaven. of that whole thing with uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, what a nightmare. I hope all of you guys got home if you were traveling. Yeah, so hopefully they got home. Aren't these cute? These are these are little stockings. Did you make those? No. I like the little. It's a little holly, like a little yep, holly little berry French thing. Knots. I love that. Cute. Yep. I did do this one. Oh. It's, it has buttons. Huh. And bows. Go figure. Shocking. Very shocking. All right. So yeah. So that's kind of it. Yeah. Here's another one. A fuzzy top. What yeah, is on little that? Angora. Little, oh, buttons. Okay. <laughs> Why did I ask? I, I knew what I don't was know. on there. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. These are fun. So I could, you know, I have a little collection of, of hand knit. It's so funny that you pulled out the Santa because I just looked at, I, I seriously was looking at a Mochi Mochi Land book this morning that has all kinds of great little ornaments. And I thought, what a quick last minute. And you know what Isn't the author recommends? What? Cascade Heritage. Oh, we have, plenty we have a of ton that. of that. So if you need another last-minute gift idea, um, we have plenty of that. Okay, in. I have one more ornament, and it's kind of a little bit of a surprise because uh -oh. I did this at 10:30 last night. Was there bourbon? No. <laughs> if there had been bourbon, I would have been. <gasps> oh amazing. my God, that's adorable! How cute is that? So this—it's a little teeny hat. Of course, my hair is knit <gasps> into it. What? Hold on. What? Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> it might work. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit. It's a slouch hat. It's a slouch. Ah! Yeah, turn it sideways. There, it's a slouch. Yeah! But so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to crochet just a chain um, for a loop. So I'll just put my hook in on the top, crochet a chain. Put my hook in back here and Can attach it. Can I make it. a suggestion? Mm -hmm. I would actually take thread and go up, or em embroidery stuff, and go up through the pom pom so that the the oh, so it comes out of the yeah, pom -pom. right oh, out of I the like middle. That idea. Yeah, because it's so that's the central. Element. Is that cute? So it's very a cute. Free pattern on Ravelry that not only has the hat. Um, but it has, uh, oh, I mean, it has so cute. I know. I, I thought it was really darling. Um, and she gives you, di okay, why can't I get the paper out of the folder? We're having one of those mornings <laughs> where I'm <laughs> wrestling with a sheet of paper. And it is called Holiday Cheer. Oh, by it's Kat, from Calborn. Yeah, by Kate Gagnon of, of um, Kate Gagnon Osborne from Kelborn Woolens. No relation to Sherry Osborne. So these are all the patterns that are on it. So it's got the hat with the stripes, the I hat with the that. snowflake, the ball, and the mitten. And it's free. Love it. It's free. Is that cute? So I yeah, love that. 10.30, I'm upstairs, you know, going through the stash. You had that crazed they, moment. I did. Yeah, I And was it doing took that me all night. of a half hour. 
Wow. It took me all of a half hour to do it. And then this morning, oh. I did. I even did the pom-pom. And this morning, I trimmed the pom-pom. You know, pom-poms are everywhere. And we have um, already... Because of her. No, 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 no. No, it's not just me. <laughs> and, you know, this is my pom-pom maker of We choice. have some really small ones. We have the Knitter's Pride, and then we also got one that's like the, the rings that fit together. Those are babies. Those are little. Those are Those fun. Those are teeny. So I think I used... Um, She's digging through her little um, no, bag o magic. I I think I used I think I used I think I used that one. Here's, so here's That's another cute. one. Cute. So the these are these are the. Um, I like those. The, those like the, the Knitter's Pride. Like we yeah. have. It's just an old an old model. So the other one that we have is like these um, halves of rings that you fit together and That's then when what you're. This is. Well, but they don't. It, there are four separate pieces that don't hinge. They just come completely apart. Yeah. No, it's not, it's like, not that. like that. Well, yesterday. It does the same thing. Diana was here. Did you see Diana's yes! picture? Yes. One of our customers, Diana, was wearing her <coughs> Panthers hat that she made she, from the kit. She made that from the kit. Mm, and it looked good. It's a gift. That's a gift for someone. Oh. And so she came in and asked me to help her with the pom pom, and it came out awesome. It looked really good. Yeah. The, she did all the colors, all three colors. I love it. And it looks fun. It looks really good. It's on our um, our Instagram page. So are you still trying to make the pom poms with the faces and the letters? and the no no okay no we have moved on to little hats uh, <laughs> Alf Waters is watching along with Kathy and Wendy hey Wendy good morning good morning she loves the tiny hat oh and Sally is home safe and sound good yeah good good that is good. good yeah cool that's not fun being stuck in the airport no. at the holidays oh Unless like that you have a pina colada I'm I just know saying. you know well like she said you know it'd be one thing to be on the beach and being stuck but you know, very different to be sitting in the airport. And some people spend hours and hours, you know, on the runway. Yeah, that's it's even worse to be stuck in the plane. Yeah, so. we don't travel at Christmas time, so okay, I'm thankful for that. All right, shall we move on? Yes, and guess what we're gonna share now? Are you ready? I think so. Something really crazy happened to you oh, yeah, this yeah. weekend this to Sherry and me, and um, I have to share. Julie already knows what happened, and many of our friends are aware that this happened, but Santa came early. So watch this little clip and then we'll tell you all about it. <laughs> okay, so I totally heard something on the deck. Back. There's sound. And I came oh. out and there is a herd of sheep in our backyard and they've been shorn actually. Some of them are shorn. Oh, wow. Okay, so whoever Hi. lost their sheep, we've got them. Good morning. <laughs> oh. This is craziness. This is what it's like when you live on six acres in the middle so of the cute. city. Look at the little ones. There you go. So cute. Happy Sunday. So cute. I thought okay. I thought Santa had left those for you when so, you sent me that. Sunday morning, I get up. Sharon never gets up early, ever. So, oh hey Heather, good morning. Hi Heather. Um, so I got up early and I was sitting in the family room drinking my coffee very quietly, and I heard <laughs> the sound of a million hooves on the back deck. And we have lots of deer, we have lots of critters. We live on a big chunk of land in the middle of the unincorporated part of Charlotte. So we're in the county. And I They're thought- county folks. We are, we're county people. And I thought the deer had come up on the deck and I thought, why? Because they're, they're pretty skittish. They normally don't, they won't come near you. Yeah. So I go to the back door. There is a glass door on the back door, thank goodness, or this would have been a very different story. But I opened the back door and looked out and there was a herd of sheep on the back deck <laughs> and, and so i go a little ironic that she I, owns a, a yarn shop i know they were all like hey let's go see the lady that knows about yarn yeah. so i go tearing down the hallway and i said santa came early santa came early <laughs> sherry's dead asleep and she hops out of bed and looks out the window and she says oh my god oh my god her first thought was that somebody had dropped them off Oh. Because people sometimes, if they can't care for animals, like hey, big, give them to the lady that big owns the animals. Yarn shop. Yeah, yeah, they'll drop off horses or whatever. Hey, and where's your hat? Oh, you got to put that back. I'm ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I'm wearing mine. You got to sport yours. Right, right. Besides, there you go. My mom gave me this hat. Well, mom, mom did good. Ah, Kathy Hammond. Good morning, Kath. Ah, oh. good morning. You got your hat on, Kathy. She's got to have a Christmas hat. What if, if I, I know her? that way? Boink. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Oh. 
So anyway, um, we ended up babysitting the sheep for a couple of hours, and then we um, there are a couple of neighboring little. Did your dogs try to herd them? We didn't let them out. Oh. The, because. Would they have chased them? Well, one of those sheep was big, and when I say big, I mean I was yeah. a little nervous trying because I was walking around trying to keep them from going down to the street. Oh, yeah. We're on six acres. You were hurting but, them. Yeah, I was. And the big guy, like, he was eyeballing me. And, and there I were thought, some cute little ones in there. And they've been shorn. So the long and short of it is we we ultimately did find the owners, and they had gotten out of their pen. And But in the process, we found another uh, owner of a flock of sheep. And That's exciting. She had 22 bags of fleece that she threw out because she didn't know what to do with it. And now she knows... What? We want it. We want it. Why? Why would you have she? What does she use them for? I don't know if they just keep them for pets or whatever. But I got they her number the and yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, you'd yeah. be shocked. Oh yeah. <laughs> they ate down everything oh, yeah. in our yard in two hours. I mean, yeah. that wasn't a lot because it's fall. But that was our big fun. Yeah, that was fun. I was a little disappointed when you said, nope, they were from a neighbor's. I thought, oh, shoot, I thought you were getting your own, your own, your own herd there for well, Christmas from Santa. Sherry would not, Sherry's a farm girl. She's had enough of raising livestock. So oh. she was like, mm. So, um, okay, so you wanted to talk about, well, I get this question all the time. Um, how do you store your yarn? How do you store your needles? Um, I'm bobbing here. And because I've been in the business so long, people think I have mountains of yarn. And, well, and, and I don't. I was going to say, I'm betting because you've been in the business so long, you've learned to only keep what you really. When I first worked in the first yarn <clears throat> shop, I think I bought everything that came through that door. Um, and then you learn to go visit it, as you know. Hmm. You just you learn to go and. It says it's been interrupted. You keep talking. I'm okay. going to try to get this fixed here. So are we still li- are we still alive? Looks like it. Yeah, yeah. we're good. Okay. Um, so anyway, yeah, I just learned to uh, visit the yarn, and I also learned to um, sell the yarn to a good home. And that doesn't that give you a satisfaction I love when it. somebody Somebody's takes excited. home a bag of yarn that they're really excited about. And even though you might have been eyeing that skein, maybe it had been talking to you. I don't know. They talk to me. Do they talk to you? They yell at me. Oh, they yell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it just feels good to let them go off to a good home. It does. So I do not have a huge stash, and um, I've kept it under control. So it's in a high boy dresser that is actually in a closet because I'm in this little Keebler house now. I'm, I used to have a big <clears throat> studio. Now I have this little tiny you know, third bedroom. Which so, is perfect for yarn stuff. It's perfect. Yep. So the, the high boy actually fits right into the closet. We took the... Aw, uh, Rosemary. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we even left the pole. The pole is still across the closet, and the high boy just fits right under it. So um, so I, I... And I have the drawers separated by the types of yarn, by the way. kind of hot. I know, mine is too. <laughs> hey, mine's Woo! heavy. Ha. Yeah. Um, and then my needles... I make these. These are. Well, let me show them. Oh, okay. Let me show yeah. them a little so bit. We did, we did some pictures. Before she um, shows you what she has here, I want to show you some uh, um, pictures. So, this first one. Okay. That's... I'm going to start up here, and so the first thing you're going to see is this hanger. Yeah. But now, if I move go. it, watch. Ooh. Those are my cir- all my circulars. That's how she keeps her circulars. And on the back side of that mm-hmm. are the numbers. So oh, I know okay. yeah. which ones you're dealing with. Yeah. Now, if I had made, if I were to make a new one, I would make it smaller so it wouldn't scrunch like that. So these are the needle holders I I make. Um, I use them for my these hooks. These are for your double points. And for my double points. So you have that here, I right? I actually have one here. Let me show. And it is, yeah, it's chock full. <clears throat> so there's a double point holder. And it's really an easy. It's such an easy design. <laughs> hey, know? Kara. Good morning. My mom gave me this hat. Oh, the pom poms on the other side. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Yep. I know. We're so, yeah, we're such cute little elves That's what today. Kathy said. You're so cute. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, she came in a little grumpy. I, I did. I was grumpy cat. She was late. She was running late. She had I that like shot out late. of the cannon. Thing. I w- yeah, we we do a lot to get ready for you guys on Tuesdays, and occasionally, um, you know, something will trip us up, and yeah. and so this morning I was like, wow, yeah. gotta get but, going. 
but, but we got it's here. Fun. Now it's fun. We got yeah. our hats on. We're all good. Okay. So yeah. Oh wait yeah. Till, wait till you see. So this is did an you up some close, close ups? <laughs> but wait for it. Ready? Oh, that's the dresser. Yeah. Yeah, that's the high boy. So then you're gonna see. There's Julie's dresser with yeah. all of her stuff in so it. So it's as tall as I am. I mean, it's a it's a high boy dresser. Pretty awesome. And then on top of it, I have jars similar to this, full of um, ribbon and um, buttons. Okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about this shot? This has nothing to do with storage. <laughs> no. Julie sends me this email yesterday, and she says all it says is multitasking, and I <laughs> laughed my posterior <laughs> off of my body because wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> And boom. There you go. There's Julie yep. in her multitasking. I was multitasking. So those are the teapot mittens. Oh, that you were working on while you were getting your toes did. So I ripped that mitten completely out. Oh, no. Well, it looked ridiculous. I couldn't. In Concentrate good, while I, you I were getting your not, toes done? I could not stand that pattern. So I ripped the whole thing out, and I started all over, and I didn't bring it with me. Um, and I'm, he's happen. not getting them for Christmas. Um, because they're just not going to make it to California. Lump of coal for you. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, but I, I will. So I have one done. One is completely done, okay. and it looks so much better. And it looks like Aww. a real mitten. Sometimes mitten. you do have to tear stuff out. And just so you guys know, yeah, we, we tear stuff do. out a lot. We all do. It's yeah. part of the process. And new knitters, they they, they I think get they, upset. Oh my gosh, they want to cry. You know, if it's, it's just part of it's it. It's part of the process, and you just have to. No, if you want it perfect, then, you know, go to Marshall's or Talbot's or wherever and buy it. If yeah, you, if you need I agree. It perfect. I totally agree. It's part of the process. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so one's done and one's on its way and I have a beautiful pedicure. <laughs> well, I don't have any kind of a beautiful pedicure at all. And I was not multitasking, um, but I was very rapidly doing individual tasks in order this weekend. Um, yeah, one you of cranked which, out all those washcloths and got the sweater done. Well, and I straightened and out my made studio. Cookies? So, well, the cookies were last week, and I. Oh and right. I'll be honest with you. The great thing about those spritz cookies is you can freeze them. So before I got mm -hmm. them ready for you, I had made them and I froze them, and then last night I took them out. You have to let them breathe so that they don't let sweat them breathe, on the inside like a good of the red jar. Line. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I have some pictures to show you. Oh, of yay. My, um, first, I, I guess first I'll show you my what the whole studio looks That's like. That's very organized. So what you're seeing here is the right wall. It's a long, skinny thing with a... So is this like the top floor? Yeah. Oh, I love that jar. jar. Yeah. So the left side is all like computer and whatever. So the jar is all of my, I just hung on to my wooden and bamboo straights and I stuck them in that jar and I thought, God, they actually look kind of cool. They're pretty, yeah. So there's that. Um, so I do keep everything labeled. I don't know no, if you I'm can so see what that says. Soap bits? No, scrap it bits. says scrap, oh, scrap bits. bits. I'm gonna show you. So when I make things like that um, Christmas tree on your card, yeah, I pull, I can pull thread yeah. out of there. Yeah. So I just hang on to it. Yeah. So that's that. My yarn, for the most part, shocker of all shockers, it's is in plastic bins. Plastic bins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I did throw Aww. my dishcloth cotton into here and I want to point out that star thing Sherry made for me. That's cool. It's to hold bobbins. Oh yeah. Like so you can just pull the yarn from the oh, cool. um, from the bobbins. That's cool. Ah, Heather, thank you. She's a great studio. And I keep everything in plastic in my studio because I use wet media too. Yeah. I can't have things out because yeah. and then I'll just show Love you the that. jar. You have to see the jar. Love the okay. jar. Okay. So, um that is our that's fun. That's our little storage thing, and um, you motivated me to straighten up my studio. Oh well, this time of year, between it the stuff that you're disaster. making, and then it becomes gift wrapping central in oh, my man. house. So you know you're pulling stuff and it's flying and it's craziness. Yeah, it gets crazy. Right now, mine is clean also, but um, a couple days ago it wasn't so clean. Yeah, but I, that I have table. company, so yeah. yeah. So my mom and dad are coming on Friday. Yeah, my dad so. and sunshine are coming. I had to clean it up. And call my coal man. I haven't seen my coal. My, he's my baby, my youngest. He's 
26, and I haven't seen him in a year. Oh, it's oh, time. So Come I am home to your mother, chopping at the bit. And he's quite time. excited, too. I mean, he hasn't seen the new house or oh, Charlotte. Oh, that's or, great. Yeah, he's never is, been to Charlotte? No, this is our, fr- well, at the airport, we've all been. Well, but he's never been yeah, around no. town? Oh, wow. No, so, you know, this very is our cool. first uh, holiday here. That's exciting. Yeah, very excited. And it's hot. <laughs> it is hot. Okay, so bizarre. ho, ho, ho to y'all, and I'm like, I'm just going to. I'm going to have hat head when Whew! I take this off. I'm not worried about my hat head. I'm worried about dying of heat, so. <laughs> heat, uh, heat stroke. I even put on my red lipstick today to match my hat. I have pink glossy stuff. Yeah. It's not even glossy anymore. She. <laughs> <laughs> We might be tapping into the bourbon uh, vanilla today to get her to cheer up a little bit. That's a really (laughs) fabulous idea. Well, I have to make sure that it's safe for you. Yeah, we can pour it in a coffee. I love this idea. This woman has great ideas. Hey, great ideas. It's called cheers to you. I work here for a reason. I know, right? (laughs) Come on. Bar's open, folks. Come on in. It's not even 10, but come on in. Um, So I guess the next thing is the knit along and I'll be honest with you, I've done a little, but muy poquito, because um, I had a lot of gifty stuff going on. Yeah, you did. Oh my you God, did. did I? Oh, hang on. Did you bring it? I did. I brought mine. You I worked it. on mine a bit, but mine is, I am almost done with that first section. Yeah. So it's really squished onto the needle. Um, I don't really have sections now, because I'm doing kind of the crazy, like... Oh my God, my phone's blowing up. Who the heck is that? Um, no, you know what I mean. The first section, the first triangle. Yeah, and I, um, oh, that first entire triangle. Yeah, I'm not even close to that. Um, I got waylaid by working on gifts, but what I've done is I'm going into wider stripes now. So that's all I've got. Oh. It's going to be, and I think I might take a page from Calf Fawcett and start adding, he's an awesome color dude, and I might start, um, there may be some other color things happening here. So, how are you guys doing? Tell us in the comments. Okay, let me grab mine. And I also have a couple of photos to show you. So, I want to show um, Kathy's. Oh, yeah. This was one of her color ideas. and I. But that's not the one she went with. I feel like it actually might be the one she went with. Because she was working on it the other day. And she was talking about the green. So, Kathy, oh, is, is this the one? Is if it? you're still watching, tell us if this is the color... Um, that you ended up going with. And then I also want to show you what happens oh, yeah. when a customer brings in a project and now wait for it. <laughs> and they're having lots of fun. Yeah. So this is one of the folks that's knitting along with us. Oh, Kathy said no, she didn't do that one. Now so. I only saw Kathy's when it was like a Barbie size halter top. I'm but, just going to um, show one more time so you can see. This was just one option. Kathy did a really wise thing. She was putting all of her colors yeah, out and yeah. just looking at them. So she's doing a striped version like you are. I don't know if anybody else is doing a fade. Heather is going to get fading? along with us. Are you fading, Heather, or are you striping? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Inquiring minds yet again. I want to know. We're always so curious. All right, so show I'm us, shading us. from a kind of a pinky red to I a love it. gray. See, I love it. And Julie had questions about this orange, the orange that's in it. But I have to tell you, I think that's what makes it come along. Yeah, it's okay. It's so, great. I so think that's what does it. Down in these, Oh, Heather's not sure yet. Okay. Down in these flecks, there's uh, some gray. And there's highlighter yellow. Can you see? You, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there is highlighter yellow. It's not yellow. coming through as bright on the... It's Ah, there it there. is. Yeah. yeah, it's a little hedgehog going on down that. there. I love that. So I'm, I'm going to fade to gray. Uh, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I do, too. I'm really happy with it. And so, I, again, I will stress, like I did last week, even if you put a color in there you don't think work, Just keep, keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. Because. Take a it, risk. This is a fun project. This yeah. is not, you it, know. It, it starts to blend. Now, when we were at SAF, I bought a gradient pack from Miss Babs. And so that's how I'm going to, um, I'm going to fade to gray. Oh, the picture. I might actually have. I'm going to see if I can find a, the picture of um, Kathy's. Actually, Kathy, I'll post it on the Facebook page. I did. I forgot about that. I did take pictures of what she's working on. Ooh, that's really beautiful. So I'm going to... So fade I'm, to gray. I'm going to fade to gray. And they're kind of a taupey gray. I love they're it. Not a, they're not a true... Well, that one is... Yeah, the other one was even taupier. Yeah, this has got gray. a little... 
That's and beautiful. And then how fun is this? That's that. Look, anything with highlighter color in it, I'm mm -hmm. down with that. Is it focusing? I love it. I don't know if it's focusing. Yeah, and it's got the shocking pink in it. So that's kind of fun. So yeah, I mean, I mean my project bag is massive because I've got... Um, Grabbing all the colors. Well, I've got like 20 colors in Heather here. Heather said um, she's using white background um, and a blue party of five, but she's going to stash dive. Yeah, for the rest of it, which is yeah. great. That's the fun Look part about it. Look at the size of this thing. It's like Santa's sack. That's my biggest project it is. bag. All you need I mean, now are reindeer and a. I know. I could throw that bad sled over my shoulder. My girlfriend Pam made me that years ago. Isn't I love that it. Cute? I yeah. know. It's perfect for a big project like this. You, I couldn't really travel with this. Because it's just too big. It's big, it's but it's really great big. for this project. Yeah, no, it's 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 working, and I um I I have really enjoyed working on it. Um, I got a little sidetrack last night with David's mitten and the little hat. Um, I love people telling us that they're doing it with us, and um, please know. So while we're talking about this, we're gonna keep working on it and keep mm -hmm. checking in. Um, next Tuesday, the shop is closed. We're closed on Monday and Tuesday, the 25th and 26th. So we won't um, be checking in live. We will have a little post for you. Um, but if you want to share with us, send us your oh, pictures yeah. of how it's going. We'd love to see the progress. Yeah, and then we, when we come back on the 2nd. Yeah, that's right after. Tuesday the 2nd. With our Elko Seltzer in our hands. I know, right? <laughs> When we come back in 2018, then we'll check in and just see how everything's going. 2018? I know. How did that happen? Good grief. Yikes. It wow. goes fast. Well, doesn't Christmas kind of always, like, sneak up on you? Slap me upside the head? Yes. I yeah. mean, you know, you know it it's there. It's kind of like once Halloween hits, those next, what, eight or ten weeks, whatever. It just weeks, speeds whatever, up. It, it speeds just up. flies. And so, you know, I always think by Thanksgiving, okay, I'm pacing myself. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And then, wham, I, it's next week. I'm just always shocked. I think, I think I'm always shot out of a cannon. Like, it's a perpetual... If a cannon could be a gerbil wheel, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel most of the time. That's so, right. The thing yeah. is, though, is Christmas is the same time every year. Like, we always can count on it. It's not like it, oh, it's early this year. Well, it's always the 25th. I want to tell you what decision Sherry and I made. Um, we So with her family, we're doing a you draw a name for a mm -hmm. couple. Mm-hmm. We decided that um, from our couple, we just wanted them to make a donation to um, Classroom Central. Oh, nice. We don't want to do stuff. And then yep. next year, um, it's going to be all handmade. Nice. Nice. Which means I cannot wait until the week before Christmas. Oh, it'll be crazy at your house. So I'm going to just start in, <clears throat> at the beginning of the year and just make little gifts fun. all year long. You know what you guys should do, which are really fun? Dean Does it I involve did this. beer? Well, it can. Anything can involve beer. Involve beer. Yay! Um, is birdhouses. And oh, she, Sherry. She yeah. builds them, you paint them. I can them. paint them. We did that a couple years, and that, that is really, really fun. fun. Those are really fun, and people love them. Yeah, they that would be really love fun. Them. We just have to start really early. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's the kind of thing you you got to pace yourself. I mean, just like with knitting, you can't just all of a sudden, you know, two weeks before Christmas decide, I'm going to make my gifts this year, unless, no, unless, <laughs> unless you're they're making those little hats. Or unless you're making these. Those are quick. <laughs> Half hour. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Merry Christmas. I need a little battery, so it'll, it'll <laughs> flop back and forth. We'll turn that thing back on. We'll turn and it let's, back on. Let's, uh, just... So we've got uh, some class. So when is the class list going to come out? Hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow. She's trying, <laughs> she's trying to turn her app back on, y'all. Um, yeah, so here's what's coming up. So watch our website for new classes that are coming in the new year. Mark your calendars for March third it's a saturday i know it sounds very well in advance but that is the birthday for the cheers to you shop so we're gonna have a big party <laughs> so watch um our website you, have a helmet? For, you might want to put a helmet on <laughs> i i am putting a helmet on watch um i'm gonna wear it like my well i can't my grandfather used to leave a hat perched on his head right on the top <laughs> ah. my hat is very happy to see your hat uh, okay, now all of a sudden I'm tilted jauntily. Okay, so the classes will be posted by the end of it. 
day tomorrow. Oh, good. Okay. And um, hopefully, or at least most of them. Um, other things, gift cards. We've had a lot of people coming in and getting gift cards. You can buy them online, too. Um, and you can shop online with your gift card. Yeah. So yeah. those are really the big things. And if you buy it here, it comes in a cute little card and envelope. And it is Yeah, cute. we doctor it up. It's, it's really it, you cute. You can present it, no problem. It's really cute. <laughs> My head is like going crazy. <laughs> So, um, I suppose at this point we should um, probably uh, bid you all a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Very Hanukkah, Merry. Happy Merry. Kwanzaa. Yep, all those. And, um, and a Happy New Year. Yes, and a Happy New Year. And we will see you on January the 2nd. Um, keep knitting and uh, knit along with us. So, um, from Lady Anne and Julie, and Julie this is the, the Cheers, Cheers to You Show. show.